how um, how do you actually become a research assistant at a university? So this is probably really geared towards undergraduate and um, master students, graduate students that are interested in becoming a research assistant at your university. Um, once you become a doctoral student, you're probably inevitably going to be a research assistant anyways. They're going to find that as a way to pay you in terms of a PhD stipend. There'll be you know two ways that they pay you during PhD stipends, the teaching assistantship and the research assistantship. And that's how they sort of break that up. But for your undergrad and your master's, you can often get these kind of cool research assistant, pro, um, you know, research assistant kind of roles that sort of give you a leg up in the process and it kind of gives you a, a sort of a leap into doing research and understanding what it is and almost every university has this kind of program where you can do that at both the both the undergrad and the graduate level um, so the biggest thing i can say in terms of you know really getting that research assistant position is to stand out in your studies so it's going to be a lot better and a lot easier to get recruited um, if you have straight A's or you did fairly well. So I, I did an undergraduate research, research assistant um, program in my undergraduate. I did, you know, I did a simulation studies in polymer science, polymer engineering. So I created this kind of simulation model within a computer program, created the computer program. Um, and simulated different types of um, polymers and how they were working in there. I, you know, honestly, I probably wasn't the best programmer, but I learned a lot during that. And I think the person that uh, gave me that opportunity. So, um, you know, in terms of what you should be doing, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the top in, in my classes, but I did okay. And that's what you should be looking at, right? So the better you are with your grades, the easier it is to get recruited. And often if you're maybe the top person, um, you know, top couple of people in your, your grade, in your um, courses, then you might actually get asked to participate in terms of doing research because everybody wants somebody that's really bright um, to do research with them. It just makes life a lot more fun, right? Um, the second thing is once you sort of realize you want to do research, what you can do is just go ask around to different professors that are actually doing research. And you can look at their different resumes, you know, what are called CVs or resumes online. And you can see, you know, what they're publishing in, how often they're publishing in, um, you know, different sort of things like that. That's really sort of important cues. If they work with a lot of graduate students, are they tied to, you know, the different, maybe it's a PhD program, you know, those kind of things are gonna be more likely to recruit you and be, be okay with you working with them. At my institution, they have kind of a cool program where you can be a research assistant um, at the department level. So you do different tasks for the department and, and you sort of fill in, um, and, and that's really cool. So, but the thing is what you're gonna be doing when, <laughs> And unfortunately, um, professors don't want to work with you um, unless you're adding value to them, right? So they just don't want a time sink in terms of what's actually what you can do and what they're going to do. So that's the last thing that anybody ever wants is to invest a bunch of time in somebody and then it just wastes a bunch of time for them and for, um, you know, for the other person. So it's in greatest benefit for you to show that you're going to benefit uh, you, the, the research program somehow that the, the professor is actually doing. So, you know, whether it's doing really boring and repetitive tasks that the professor doesn't want to do, maybe you have, um, you know, maybe you have programming skills, for example, or you can, you know, analyze data, um, compile data. It's usually like cleaning and compiling data, um, going onto different websites and pulling it together. However it is, um, that's the kind of task that you're going to be doing. Sometimes you might be calling people, you know, we have to do interviews where we have to follow up with people. So you might be calling, calling up and sort of arranging these um, follow up interviews and, you know, doing all those kind of things. And that would be that would be a great role for you to get some practice with this. And, and it's often it's kind of really tedious that the professor doesn't want to do and you're going to get some interaction with them. The other thing that I would recommend that you do in terms of, you know, giving a value added 
is to do a research proposal and write up a research proposal. It doesn't have to be that long. Maybe it's five pages. You look at their research and um, you propose to them, you know, what you actually want to do. And, and you say that this is some really cool stuff that I would love to do. I love your research. Um, you know, here's the thing. And so it might be two pages, three pages, four pages, five pages, whatever, you know, just kind of a short outline that builds on their research and shows what you can do. Um, if you go that added, you know, the, the added mile and you really, really show that you understand what you're talking about, and it's very few people are going to be able to do that. But, you know, if you show what you're talking about and you do an OK job, then they might actually do an original piece of research for you, which is really cool um, or with you. And, and that would be really cool if you can have you know, uh, publication or, you know, on the process of getting a publication from that experience, that's really helpful, right? So in some fields, it's way more common to see that. So psychology, um, often you see that kind of stuff where you might be an undergrad and you actually get to publish. Um, that's cool, right? Like that is a really exciting thing. So just look for that way to give value added and leverage what they, that particular professor is working on. Um, and, you know, really go the added mile and go an extra mile in terms of helping them out. And then you can um, demonstrate that you can be a research assistant for them and they're going to be super excited to be working with you because you're actually helping them out rather than pulling them down as time sink.